Well guys, as you can see, we're out in the middle of nowhere right now. We got Jimmy behind us. And uh, we're going to look for a creek right now. We got nets and uh, handheld gear. And today's adventure is going to be net fishing for creek fish and just trying to get a good idea of what species lays beneath the water here. Been out here quite a bit in the last few months and I've seen a ton of different fish. And honestly, I'm quite interested. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> it's a wasp, bro. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I've been out here quite a bit recently and there's a ton of different species and I'm, I just really want to see what's in the water and kind of just show you guys what's in the waters near you. So getting really close to the spot, we'll meet you guys when we actually start casting and start fishing and talk more about it then. Let's get after it. That's where we start. So the adventure begins, my boys. We're here at the Clearwater Creek. Ooh, it's cold water today. I got some really, really small nets if we want to try to catch any of these small fish, too. Look how clear this water is, guys. Crystal clear right now. I'm about almost knee deep. Dude, what is that bug? What is this creature in front of me? There's some little thing that's like running around, and I'm just, I'm just curious, like, what it is. I, I got something, yeah. Yeah, it's like a shrimpy looking thing. All right, guys, we're about six seconds into our adventure. We literally just got our toes wet. Saw one of these little prey mantis looking things crawling around the water and decided to give it a real quick grab. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I'm quite intrigued that it's in the water here. I'm assuming it might be a mayfly, like larva or something. If you guys know what this is, definitely let me know in the comments below. We are here in Texas, so freshwater bug like water creature it's really crazy because i don't know if jimmy can zoom in on this and get some real real good detail it's got uh, legs up. Ah! oh my god i just ripped its tail apart i'm so mean uh anyways it's got legs but at the same time watch when we get it in the water it happens look there he goes he starts swimming but anyways guys if that's just an idea of what we can get in the first like six seconds of here i'm really really excited today because there is so much more creek to adventure all right, I'm going to get my bucket real quick, grab the gear. That was a cool little first specimen to see. I'm always so curious, like, what are these things wandering on the floor in front of me? Today, we're going to find out. Oh, my God. Oh, there's like tadpoles over here, bro. I got something. Yeah, it's a little tadpole. Get a look at this little tiny tadpole thing. It can't be any bigger than a pea. Oh, look at his belly, bro. Yeah, I'm saying he's thick. He's no, no, he's thick. got like a spiral on his belly. Look. I've never seen oh, that, like man. the Pokemon. All right, guys, take a look at that little tiny tadpole we have right here. I want to flip him over so you can see his belly and see the spiral-like little design that they have on their oh, belly, man. similar to those Pokemon. I never actually knew that tadpoles had those markings. It's really, really cool. We're gonna kind of just keep them in our little specimen jar for the meantime, just keep wandering around. We are setting up shop for a few seconds, guys. Woo. All right, this ought to be interesting. Jimmy's trying out cast net for his first time. Yeah, that'll work. Like what you wanna do, I'll show you real quick. I'm not a pro at this. What I like to do is I leave that one portion on the bottom and then I get a whole handful, uh -huh. and then I add that like three times, and then I have the rest right here. They're right here on your, on your right. There's some over here too. And then you just do that, you spin it as you throw it. And then since the net is what triggers it, you gotta pull that line. And that's what keeps that net tight at the end. Go for it. And as we keep going up the trail, there's spots where there's like flat areas in front of you where they can't run. Or even just go straight ahead over here. Really? Really? Yeah, the, the string got caught up on the rock underneath you. But, I mean, it wasn't a bad first try. Come over here where the water's running. You can see them over here, actually. You see them all right here at the end of the water? A little pool. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You gotta let oh. set, you gotta, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're on the rock. Yeah. That'll be fine. We're gonna go to it, because if not, we'll get tangled up. 
Oh, this is deep water. Oh, they're everywhere over here. So I've always wanted to do this. I'm surprised there's no bass over here. I think. I'm sure that they're not as easy to get as you think. Well, you think that, and then when you pull it, you want it to fall all the way down and let them kind of swim into the net, and then you pull it. Yeah, we got we some. Got yeah, something. I saw something shiny. Me too. Yeah, there's one. One in there. Dude. What is that? One. That's is a that a chub? That's a chub, yeah. Put them in your fish tank. That's a little chub. Now these things get so big. I'm going to put them over here at the... Uh, Specimen, specimen bucket. All right, guys, we got ourselves some creek chubs right here. These were our first specimens out of the cast net. Me and Jimmy both pulled one. I think his is a little bit bigger than me. Sometimes other guys have bigger chubs, and you just gotta accept it. But awesome little specimens, beautiful little fish, and they actually grow up to be really, really big. Well, I say really big. I'd say about. 10 times the size they can get anywhere from about 12 to 14 inches great bait for catfish if you're fishing spillways and stuff like that but we're going to go ahead and make our way down the rest of this creek so we're going to release these guys back in the water and keep on cast net fishing and see what else we can pull out of this creek well, you know what is there no bait yep huh yep all right guys unfortunately one of the chubs didn't make it so now we're going to go ahead and uh, donate him to the river as bait. There's a good chance that we can use him as an attractant. What is this? Is this just like a piece of glass over here? <laughs> Seriously, what is that? Anyways, found this piece of glass, so we're gonna use it to That's ice, dude. slice him open. That's ice. Yeah, I'm just using like the stuff that we find around us. Let's see if that works. Ugh. Beautiful. Oh, I love it, dude. We're Where, gonna catch them. Where's that little net? Catch some. Unless we can get like some water bottles. Oh, there's a cup right here. Water bottle. Water bottle. A Starbucks cup. No, put them in here. Look. That's what I'm saying. Like you put you put this in a cup, they all swim into it. Well, this might be easier to pick up though. That way they can't get the bait. Uh -huh. Some rocks in this, right? And then we put water in it. Water bottle. And we put it right down in there. Oh, they're coming right up to it. What a bunch of dumbasses. These things are idiots. Oh, oh. <laughs> you almost caught that red one. Those are the roaches that I'm talking it, about. It's in, it's in, oh, it came out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, <one is. laughs> that worked. <laughs> yes. Dude, look at these pretty little Dude. fish. What is these are the fish that recording. I was wondering about? Oh my god, we can do that again for sure. Get the cup, get the cup. No, these are those roach fish that I was talking about. I want to take some of these for my aquarium. Is that bad? Oh, See man. if he'll eat them. Yeah. All right, guys, I have no idea how that just worked. We put some dead bait in a net inside of a cup, pulled the cup up real quick, Woo! and we got ourselves one of these pretty little specimens. I believe these are called roach. Fish. They're like a bait fish here. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So if you guys do know what it is, make sure you drop that comment below so we are able to correct that. But we might take some of these guys home to get inside that aquarium with old big boy. We got beautiful oranges, reds, blues, greens, whites, silvers on this fish. I can't believe that just worked right there, Jimmy. I can't believe it, man. Dude. All right, guys. What I actually did real quick was create a little contraption to keep nice flowing cool water in this bait bucket it's tilted at an angle so the rocks are hitting it it's flowing in and out on this one edge and as you can see it's not overflowing so i'm hoping this will allow these fish to stay in there with this little rock trap right here and right here and allow them to also keep getting nice fresh air at the same time so hopefully this is a a good thing for them and not a bad thing for me We'll find out. It's wild how many fish are just coming right up to that net as you're in the water like that. They're like, who oh, gives a, a shit? Right there, dude. A bass? A baby bass, yeah. That's hilarious. About a dozen of them, dude. 
Yeah, I would say there's at least a dozen minnow in there. Sick. Pretty, pretty colors, man. I like those colors. All right, guys, so as y'all saw, we got probably like a baker's dozen worth of roach or uh, shad-like fish in there. We're about to make our way through the rest of this little creek, got all the stuff in the bags right now. And uh, we're just gonna kind of continue that. We're gonna throw the cast net, throw the small net, and just kind of see if we can get a few more species and just kind of make the most of this little trek as we get back to the car. Yeah. There's no way I can miss. There's no way I can miss that's how many fish there are. Should I miss? Water bottle. I do this. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I got one! I got two! Alright. Alright guys, just hop back in the car. Got a boy Jimmy right here next to us. Extremely hot out there, man. So after uh, fishing this little creek and having some fun out here, we found a few different species that were pretty interesting. Obviously we know there's bass and sunfish out here. We did see some big old creek chubs though and some little chubs unfortunately that was mine and jimmy's and uh then we saw a ton of those roach bait fish which i was assuming they were minnow or shad or something like that so now that we've actually pulled them out of the water and i have a good understanding of what those fish are and what they look like up close beautiful beautiful fish really cool looking and uh what's crazy about it too is jimmy was out there trying to catch those sunfish and those bass with this little crappie lure and those little fish were biting it too they were smacking it going at it going crazy they're cannibalistic. They're going after those chubs and eating those too. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting. We learned a lot about these, these fish that are in the creeks, but now we're gonna go take them home and try to see if uh, they either adapt to the tank or if they become food for the tank. So we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we're officially back at the house after a five hour adventure out there on the creek with Jimmy, trying to catch as many species as we could at that creek and just honestly having a blast. It was a ton of fun. We found a ton of different fish, a ton of different species. Jimmy even got himself uh, a nice creek bass. But now we're here to feed Mr. Fish Dicks. As you guys can see, he's definitely grown up and grown accustomed to his environment. So now's the real test. We're gonna grab some of these roach minnows, pop them in there and see what he does. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Well, well, if one doesn't work, I'm gonna put another one in there. Real pretty colors on this one. Guys, I I don't even know what's going on right now. I have two fish in there. One he's kind of interested in, I think, because it's in this little veg line. The other one, he's like almost let it take over the tank. It's just swimming free, doing what it wants, and I really don't know what else to do except for maybe feed this guy a worm or maybe not feed him any worms and just see if he'll maybe get aggressive. I guess we got some, some bait fish to go fishing with in the future. I'll have to pop him in here. I'm not going to flush him down the toilet or anything. We'll just pop him in here and... Uh, probably use them in the future, but hey, that's gonna be it for today guys If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace